everyone, it's Clarice and today I'm going to share with you the books that I read last September. Upon looking at my Goodreads and looking at the books that I read in September, I realized that all of them were either audiobooks or comic books. School has been really stressful and really time consuming, so I haven't had much time to just sit down and read a novel, like a regular novel, like not need to listen to it or read one with pictures, which is a shame, but it was still a good reading month considering. So I'm really proud of it. And also because I spent a bunch of this month also reading A Dance of Dragons, which I still haven't finished reading, but I will soon. So for this wrap up, I decided to just share the audiobooks I listened to first and then share the comic books that I read after. So this month, I finished three audiobooks, the first of which being How to Be a Woman by Kathleen Moran. It's a memoir, so Moran basically shares with us her experiences and thoughts and opinions on various things and kind of uses them as a basis to share with us what feminism is, what feminism isn't, and why it's so important in society today. I actually love this book. I haven't read much literature on feminism so far. This is only probably the second one, but I really do want to read more on this topic. So I'm really glad that I read this one. Though I did really enjoy this book, that isn't to say that I actually agreed with every single one of her opinions and everything she had to say, but you don't read books just to nod along and agree with everything. At least I personally don't read books like this just to enforce the beliefs I already have and find someone to agree with or has the same thoughts as me, but instead to sort of challenge and in turn develop my current beliefs. And this book did exactly that. I also really love her personality. She's really funny and I just love reading from the perspective of people that are really, really blunt, which she also is. She isn't afraid to tell things as they are and share her perspective on things. And because of that, I highly recommend this book, especially if you're interested in reading and feminism. And even if you aren't, it's good to read because it clears some misconceptions on feminism that you may have. And it's always good to hear from other people's perspectives, especially if they are well formulated and well thought out, like this one was. Next, I read X Heroes by Peter Kleins. It's the first in the X Heroes series, a sci-fi dystopian series, which is basically the zombie apocalypse with superheroes. Honestly, it was kind of confusing at first, mainly because it jumped between different perspectives and reading an audiobook, it's harder to pick up on details like that. And for the first few chapters, I thought I was just reading from one person's perspective, so you can see why I got confused. But eventually, I figured it out. I had to go back and listen to a couple of chapters again. But soon I got into the groove of things and was able to properly get into this book. It was fun and interesting enough overall. The characters were pretty interesting. The concept was relatively intriguing. I'm not gonna go around recommending this book to everyone I know or anything. I wasn't blown away by it, but it was definitely a fun read and I'm still glad that I read it. And the last audiobook I finished was The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Just to very vaguely describe what the story is about, it's about this guy who at the very beginning of the book is taken out of this neural health facility and is brought back home. And he just genuinely wants to become a better person and despite everything that happened to him, somehow find that silver lining, that happy ending to his story. Even if it doesn't seem to come around as easily as he would like it to. I actually kind of watched the movie for this book before, though I actually wasn't really paying attention. I was probably on my laptop doing something while my parents were watching it in the background. I did enjoy reading the book. It did give me a really good perspective on what it might feel like to be put in this situation and to deal with mental health issues. It was definitely eye-opening, especially at certain parts. It didn't really affect me emotionally as much as I would have expected it to. While this is one of my favorites, I did like this book overall. Now on to the comic books that I read this month. I read four full volumes and one single issue. I read Batman Year One written by Frank Miller and illustrated by David Mazzuccelli. 
I think that's how it's pronounced. But basically, this is Batman's origin story. A lot of sources on the internet would say that if you're trying to get into Batman, this is basically required reading. And so my boyfriend bought it for me and I read it and it was really good. It definitely gave me more insight into Batman's origins. You know, seeing all the emotions and trauma behind the Batman and seeing how the people of Gotham saw him at the very beginning of things. More than Batman's origin story, it's also kind of the origin story of Jim Gordon. And it was nice seeing his parts of the story as well. It was also cool seeing Catwoman, because Catwoman is here too. It was a really good introduction to Batman, I think, for someone who hasn't read any Batman yet. And I'm really, really glad that I read it. Next, moving on to some Marvel, I also read Astonishing X-Men Ultimate Collection Volume 1, which contains the first 12 issues of the Astonishing X-Men run written by Joss Whedon and illustrated by John Cassidy. I think there's basically one story arc per six issues, so I don't really know what the overall story is exactly. It's another one of those series that I've heard is really good for people that are just getting into comics. Personally, I think it is, but only if you have some basic knowledge of the main characters of X-Men already from the movies. Otherwise, you might get a bit confused. But I really liked it, the plot is really interesting, a lot of stuff is going on. And I'm also getting to learn about a bunch of different characters, which is cool. Some that I already knew of, some that I am just learning about in this series. Also, Kitty Pride is pretty awesome in this series, which is great. And I really look forward to reading the next and last 12 issues in this run sometime soon, hopefully, when I gather enough money to buy it. The next comic I read was a reread, Why the Last Man Deluxe Edition Volume 1. I feel like I've explained Why the Last Man enough times on this channel. It's about the last male man and monkey in a world full of females. It's an awesome series and if you are into comic book series at all and you haven't started reading this yet, you probably should. And the last comic book trade I read this month was Justice League 1. Origin. This is the first volume of issues in the Justice League New 52 series of DC. I actually got this for my little brother to read but only read it myself to check. And instead of just reading a little bit, I ended up finishing the entire thing because it was really good. It's what it sounds like. Since it's New 52, it is the rebooted origin story of the Justice League. And even though I've heard some mixed things online, as someone who is new to comics and someone who isn't already super familiar with all of these characters, I really enjoyed this story. Granted, Wonder Woman comes off a bit ditzy, which I don't really like. And Green Lantern is kind of douchebag, but he served kind of as the comic relief in the story, so I'm totally fine with that. Batman, of course, was awesome, but Aquaman was also surprisingly awesome. And I'm glad I read it kind of accidentally because I got to learn more about some of the main characters in DC, which is always good for people who are new to DC. And I actually really, really want to read more DC now. Possibly maybe read Aquaman because again, Aquaman was surprisingly awesome. And the single comic that I read was Batman Endgame Special Edition, which I got for free on Batman Day. This comic is basically the first issue in the Endgame story arc in Batman. And now I really, really want to read the rest of the volume, just like this comic told me to at the very end of the issue. So those were the books I read and listened to this September. How was your reading month last September? Are you busy with school and having a hard time finding time to read too? Please leave your responses in the comments down below. Also, please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!